I'm Athena and this is my partner, Harvey. We've been sharing many adventures together over the years, from camping and climbing to hiking and van life. Last year, we embarked on our biggest adventure yet. This is our little girl, Aoife. And not forgetting Oslo, of course. Join us as we navigate family life with our love of the outdoors and adventure. Flowers blooming in the dirt. Oh. I don't want to break, I don't want to break, I don't want to break. Nothing I could change, nothing I could change, nothing I could change. Glamping tent for a few days. Ah, oh, I love the sofa area. Ah, so this is where we're gonna sleep. Oh, that looks cozy. It's a cute little kitchen. Oh, oh, there's another bedroom with bunk beds. So if you like a family, it'd be really good, wouldn't it? Oh, this is so nice. Like right in the trees. <laughs> Hiya! <laughs> oh. Oh, that's better. Yeah. Uh, we've just arrived in San Marino, uh, which is the fifth smallest country in the world. I think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny little area in Italy, which is just an area. I've well, it's not in Italy, it's landlocked by Italy. It's landlocked by but Italy, it's, it's, of course. It's its own country. So, yeah. 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 So we flew into Bologna, and it's been, what, an hour and a half yeah, drive down, an hour and a half down. down the coastline. Yeah. And um, stopped at the supermarket on the way, got yeah. some supplies. Oh, all the fruit. I forgot how <laughs> good the fruit is. I just love Europe. foreign supermarkets in general. Like, yeah. They're so exciting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, really good. Um, yeah, but as well as so as well as San Marino, we're going to be we're staying in San Marino. We're going to be visiting San Marino for a couple of days. And we're also visiting the neighbouring Italian regions of Emilia Romagna and La Marche. Mm. Um, so they kind of border San Marino. Um, which will be really cool because they're, I've been to, I, I actually, some of you guys might know, I went to uni in Bologna, so I kind of visited like parts of Emilia Romagna before, um, but we're really excited aren't we, we've got some like really yeah, cool stuff Yes, it's just planned. great to be out of the country actually, yeah, I can't yeah, deny yeah. it, uh, I think it's like the first, like, it's the first flight I've been on for a long time. Yeah, we try and um, work out when the last time we flew was, it must be like three years ago because we didn't do any trips abroad in lockdown yeah i suppose like alps we drove yeah uh maybe norway norway like yeah. three years ago three four years ago and now obviously <coughs> we've gone from it being just the two of us yeah. to <laughs> baby so in tow who, who has managed to just completely flirt and yeah uh, win over everyone on the plane Sh or in the supermarket yeah. or anywhere she's just smiling <laughs> at everyone it is so cute isn't it yeah it's pretty so it's actually, it's, yeah, it's yeah. so fun, I have, like, travelling with a baby. Ah. is turning out to be super fun. Um, yeah, so. it's, 
you know, it's not the easiest, but it's definitely... Yeah. It could be a lot worse. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> our first morning in San Marino and we've decided to go swimming take Eva for a swim it's yeah. about nine o'clock and um, Eva's been up since seven of course when you've got a baby you're up early so you start doing stuff really early yeah yeah it's nice actually <laughs> yeah but I could definitely catch up some more sleep <laughs> I know I think I've been a bit tired from like lack of sleep yesterday but yeah it's a long day <laughs> raring yeah, to go good. yeah I'm excited to go take Eva swimming she loves swimming you excited? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Venus just realised how cold the uh, <laughs> the pool is. <laughs> Come on, it'll be good for you. Dry, 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 dry. <laughs> so it's our first morning in San Marino. We're just outside San Marino in this little, um, kind of like a little wooded valley. Uh, morning. Morning. <laughs> so Fina, we're just kind of getting ourselves together and getting some breakfast. And um, and then I think this afternoon we're going to go in and meet a lady called Marina, and she's going to take us into San Marino. And um, yeah, it's just it's quite nice actually just to have sort of like a bit of a slow morning. Yeah. Took Eva for a swim, which was nice. She's having a nap now. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. And uh, and this isn't kind of the normal thing we do in kind of sort of come to a resort. Oh, look, it's another hummingbird. Yeah, it's hummingbirds everywhere here. It's amazing. And. Um, and but it's actually it's actually quite nice uh and it was either kind of here or sort of somewhere in the city and we kind of yeah. thought well actually this is yeah i like being out more here vibe. yeah it's like nice being out in nature and there's a pool for Eva and yeah, yeah it's really cool where we're staying as well so and some kind of like there's some yoga class going on with like loud euro pop <laughs> music which is quite is that what it was? yeah so like that uh, which is quite funny yeah. I thought it was quite amusing uh, so that's not a thing that we're normally used to but you know hey hey <laughs> <laughs> just come up to San Marino Old Town and just having a little wander around and kind of getting a feel for the place, getting our bearings before meeting Marina later who I think is going to give us a proper tour of the city um, but it's pretty amazing so far, it's super historic, it's really nice just wandering down these little cobbled streets with the window shutters and yeah definitely an ancient feel. I'm intrigued with what's down here so should we go have a look? <laughs> San Marino is actually the oldest republic in the world, built on a mountain overlooking the Italian regions of La Marche and Emilia Romagna, all the way to the sea. It has a wonderful ancient feel to it, 
With so much history and culture here, we loved wandering the cobbled streets and exploring some hidden corners. We just stumbled across this amazing viewpoint and there's like nobody else here. Um, some of the streets are quite busy with people and shops and cafes and then there's but there's so many back streets that are really really quiet which is really nice to just be able to kind of go off the beaten track a little bit yeah but i'm pretty hungry so i think we should go get pasta what do you think yeah sounds good <laughs> Just stopped. We're just about to meet up with Marina, who is from. She's from San Marino Tourism Board, or something. Yeah, we're not really sure yet, actually. Yeah, she's just. We've been put in touch with her, so we're gonna yeah, catch. Yeah, I think she's local. We know she's local. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, hopefully we'll catch up with her soon. Uh, we had some lunch. We've just been mooching around and kind of having a nice time. Got an ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Very good ice cream. Uh, Kind of ice cream you'd expect from Italy. <laughs> Very good. Uh, and now we're just kind of hanging out, uh, just saw in E for our. Yeah, we're just kind of having a little break before we meet Marina yeah. and probably explore the city a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And the flowers behind us actually. We're sort of just in this like little area and there's a shed ton of flowers, but there's hummingbirds everywhere. I've been trying to film them <laughs> without much success, but getting there. Uh, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to get some clips to show you. Um, but yeah, just kind of taking in this sort of, this kind of medieval ancient citadel vibe that's going on with San Marino, it's quite amazing. Uh, you can see why a civilization would want to be like, yep, we'll put ourselves here. This is pretty nice. The views are incredible. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, more, more, more to explore. Someone wants to get Oh, you want to, what would you like to say? What would you like to say? Camera shy? Uh. Camera shy like your daddy? No. Uh. <laughs> so this is Marina from San Marino Tourism Board and she's going to show us around the city a bit today. Marina was an excellent guide. So kind and knowledgeable on all things San Marino. She showed us around the city, taking us to the Parliament buildings, the Basilica, a beautiful park with exceptional views, and then finally to the first of the famous Three Towers, or Tre Torri di San Marino. So we've just come all the way up to um, the very top of one of the towers. So there are three towers in San Marino. Um, at the moment you can only access the first one. And it's like pretty incredible up here. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. I mean, uh, so what was it? It's like six, seven hundred meters high. Yeah, six, yeah, yeah. I can't remember exactly yeah. how she said. But uh, it's like panoramic 360 <laughs> views. It's quite windy at the moment. Oh dear. Hello. Oh, don't try, don't try. You've got to come up a kind of crazy stairwell to get here. But, yeah, uh, like a ladder. And then, <laughs> yeah, I was a bit nervous, I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's, it's obviously super safe, but. Well, it hasn't fallen over. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> It was really amazing to get a local's perspective of San Marino. We could sense Marina's pride in this land she calls home, 
a country built on a mountain with the pillars of freedom and peace holding it strong. I'm going to get you this passport stamped. Thanks so much to the lovely places for inviting us to explore San Marino, Le Marche and Emilia Romagna as a family. I'll put a link to the website in the description so you can discover these regions for yourself. In the next video, we hike the cliff path in San Marino and then drive into Italy to take Aoife to the ocean for the first time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.